Today we're taking a first look at the Instant Vap. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Gwynny Griffith, here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, something really exciting here today, this is called the Instant Vap, and you may think, oh well, there's plenty of vaporizers on the market, what's so special about this one? Well, that's a really good question, and there's lots of special things about this one. But more importantly, the biggest important uh, factor or selling point about this instant vap is it takes any battery you want. And I mean batteries that are already on the market. So most of my power tools are Bosch tools and they take batteries like this, Proco 18 volt. Now you may have a Makita, Milwaukee, Dewalt. So you tell the manufacturer what battery type you want and they can make sure that this will fit the batteries that you've got. Which is unbelievable because up until this point, the biggest hassle and problem with vaporizers is you've, you've either had to have a physical blow torch one using gas or you've needed to bring a generator with you to site and then physically plug that into the unit and then that charge in. There, there are some on the market uh, which have got their own battery but uh, are not quite built like this. And this has got a, an exceptional delivery system as well. And let's have a look at the, the whole machine. Everything is in solid stainless steel. Super heavy duty. I can't tell you how heavy duty that is. Simple, simple design, folded stainless steel. We've got the control panel on the back, which we'll talk about in a bit. The switch there to start heating the unit. A voltage reader on the back or the top. But this is the delivery system. This comes out. And on this piece here, we've got four uh, notches. Now every notch indicates how much oxalic acid do you want to drop into the unit at any one time. So the notch on the bottom, if the bar there is at the bottom, then that's one gram. The next one is two, the next one three, and the top one is four gram. So there's no messing around with weights and scales and finding the correct scoop for the correct dosage. You drop this in the, uh, in the oxalic acid powder, it sits in there and then you press that, that drops out, hits the heating element in there and you've got instant gas. Unbelievable. Uh, that is revolutionary in itself. Just get a bag of oxalic acid, pop in, pop in, and yeah, away to go straight away. And that is, I think, probably up there with the, the best points on this instant vap and of course we can't argue that this fits batteries which beekeepers have already got because there's nothing worse you buy a, a battery tool and that's the only battery you've got you use it in the winter then that thing doesn't get used at all all year come next year the battery may have lost a bit of its life as long as you're using tools uh, batteries and tools that have been used throughout the year then that battery's gonna last a lot lot longer and it's no extra cost if you've already got your own battery. So between those two points, I mean, this is uh, a revolutionary in beekeeping, uh, especially on the Varora treatment front. And on the unit, you don't just get one of these, you get two. There's one in the handle as well. So you've got a spare one in there, which I really like. Simple, nothing fancy about it. Just a hard wearing, heavy duty vaporizer that takes 
proper batteries or batteries which you've already got i mean wow this is what beekeepers have been asking for a long time why can't we have a vaporizer that takes normal batteries well this company certainly has been listening and they've brought a, a product out to market so let's see how this works on the powder and then we'll fire up the unit look at the controls and actually test it so the first thing we need we need oxalic acid now in the uk that happy bioxal this is the only regulated treatment when it comes to oxalic acids you you actually have to use this by law other countries they can still use normal oxalic acid unfortunately we got to use uh we got to use this we, we're not allowed to use uh normal oxalic acids so we got to use an approved uh treatment by the vmd and uh, that's what this is so when you're handling any kind of oxalic acid wear the proper ppe you don't want to get this on your skin or breathe it in at all so when we do fire this up we'll be wearing an approved mask if you like these orange gloves we sell these on the website they're my main beekeeping gloves so we've got that set on two grams so that the, that is there in the middle and we're just literally going to drop this in so you imagine you're on the apron now we're doing 50 hives something you may have a small bucket much bigger bag than what i've got there you just drop that in the powder is there and that's all you do to fire it up in the in the in the unit you press down and then two grams falls out that easy i mean that is super good super i'm so impressed with the delivery method let's try that again works every time now you imagine how quick you're going to be vaporizing the hive as that's doing this business you've got the spare one there that's preloaded ready to go take this out into the hive take that one out swap them around drop it in and that's firing away instantly i mean four or five batteries with you i bet you that's enough to go all day vaporizing hives no cable nothing heavy to carry across sites wheelbarrow and a generator because you've got to think we live in the uk we can't just drive on fields in the winter the fields are waterlogged farmers won't even let you drive in some fields in the winter because they put crop down or silage or grass whatever that's there they don't want you driving on top of it so something like this you can walk across your apiaries and have enough stuff to treat 100 hives just in your bag now you can't really do that with any other unit that i'm aware of using batteries so that's the delivery system which i'm sure you'd agree works absolutely brilliantly let's take a look at how the controls work and what else is around here so we'll drop the battery in click super easy to go in now you've got to keep an eye on so the manufacturer told me you've got to keep an eye on the voltmeter don't let that drop down too much because that can damage the battery for the 18 volt batteries we don't want that to drop under 15 volt so if it stays at 15 volt and doesn't go back up that's an indicator that the battery has lost sufficient charge and if you run it below that then you risk damaging the battery so make sure you keep an eye on that voltmeter on the top make sure that doesn't stay at 15 volts or under you want it to be in the region of 18 plus volts uh, to make sure that the battery doesn't get damaged now we've got a control system at the back we've got plus this is actually set now at 230 degrees which is a recommended heat that they use and that's another pro thing using an electric a vaporizer with a thermostat or thermometer compared to a gas one when you fire a gas one up you've got no control over how hot that actually gets it may go too hot and damage the oxalic acid where with this you can set the temperature and then it doesn't exceed that so you're using the constant temperature every treatment and there's a lot of research going into that saying how important that is 
So that's the 230 degrees and we've got the arrows to control up or down uh, depending on the heat you want. Don't take too much notice of the other buttons for now, but the red right lettering at the top, that's current degrees. And then we've got the switch here for the heating element. Now, we're gonna put that on, then we're gonna take a look at the voltage reader to see what happens. Knock that on, and that's just dropped down to 19.2. So it's actually heating up the unit. Now, once that goes up to temperature, that then is ready to use. Now, watch out uh, for this brass. This is a heavy duty brass nozzle. This is going to get hot as this unit is heating up. There is uh, sufficient insulation around it to keep that temperature constant, but just be aware of that, that does heat up. And we're up to 65 degrees already. Being electric, it heats up super, super fast. So we'll pick this up once that's up to temperature. Okay. 230, that's the temperature in there right now. I've got this set at two gram. Drop this into it and then That's it, that's one that did drop a tiny bit degrees wise, so we're at 2 to 8 now. Take that out. Let's see if it'll go again. Voltage is still 19.1, 2 to 8, we're not even losing any heat using it. Let's go for the third time. Take that out. Fill it up, back in. That's a thumbs up from me, so we're going to turn this off. Knock the heating off there. And remove the battery. Well, that's it. What a machine. Now I tell you what, I've seen a lot of these on the market, but I'm very, very impressed with this one. We fired it up three times there, two gram doses. Didn't even hardly drop temperature. The battery, the voltage hardly dropped. So if we did three hives that quick, with three or four batteries, I reckon you'll be able to do hundreds of hives a day. So all you need, happy bioxal, fully charged batteries, this unit, and you just go out and treat bees. Simple as that. We've got the voltage indicator there, which tells you if your battery's drop in charge, and tells you exactly how hot it is on the back. So every treatment you do, you're hitting that with the perfect uh, temperature every single time. 
super small unit, but the biggest selling point, no doubt, is this takes the batteries which you've already got. Unbelievable. Well, that is a thumbs up from me. This is only the first video of, uh, we just taken a look at it. Uh, we're not gonna be using this at this time of year to treat bees. We're still pulling the honey off at the minute. At the time of filming this video, it is uh, end of August, but certainly we'll be doing uh, more videos later on using this and treating bees with it. And uh, I'm pretty sure the Varora is not going to like this unit. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the instant VAP? Do you like it? Do you like the fact that it uses the batteries which you've already got, whether it's Dewalt, Makita, Bosch, the list goes on. Do you like that or do you think that is a downside? I suppose the only downside that I can physically see of this unit, and I've got to be transparent in this video, are these tool manufacturers happy with us using uh, these batteries on a product which they haven't made? No doubt if the battery does break on something like this, the manufacturer will say uh, the warranty is void because you're using it uh, on something uh, that it's not supposed to be on or not supposed to be on. Or will they be quite angry that they've put so much money into battery technology that we can use it on, on, uh, on tools which uh, don't below, belong to them. So that may be an issue. Um, you know, Bosch or Dewalt or something may not be happy that other manufacturers are using uh, their batteries on their product. I don't know. Uh, they, they actually may, may be quite happy uh, for you to use uh, their batteries on different kinds of products because you're buying their batteries. So who knows? That's, that's the only thing that I can see uh, which could be a problem later on. So that's the only thing that I can see. Uh, tool manufacturers may not be happy that we're using their uh, high-tech batteries on products which they don't own. That's the, that's the only thing that I can see. Apart from that, I mean, from the unit's point of view, the, the, the way the engineering and the science uh, to build this, the craftsmanship, uh, I think this is probably the best one uh, that I've seen on the market to date. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.